Hey guys, we're in front of my other vanity table, which I use to store new and old makeup. And since starting this channel, I've gotten a lot more makeup, but I haven't gotten better at organizing it and I am running out of room. Uh, take a look. That's just the surface. That's just the top of the vanity. We haven't looked at any of the drawers. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't looked at any of the drawers. Once I open the drawers, you'll see why I'm running out of space and I really, really need to do some decluttering. So join me on this video here to declutter my makeup collection. Here's a better look at everything that's just sitting on top of my vanity. Let's open up one of the drawers. Let's start with this one because that has the most makeup related things. Look at that. It didn't always look like this. I promised you it used to be more organized and I would make an attempt twice a year to come in and throw away things and keep the space organized. That has obviously not happened in some time. And this is what I do. I keep boxes. More boxes. Well, because the boxes are pretty, don't you agree? Yep, more boxes. And I really need to make a decision here. <laughs> Another box. Yeah, so I need to make a decision here. Do something with this. A lot of samples. Yeah, okay. So I think what I'll do is take out everything, empty out the drawer, and we can go over the items one by one to see whether we declutter or we keep them for use. Look, this is another empty box. Oh boy. I think what we're gonna do is go through each item in this drawer. For items I am keeping, I will put onto the floor on the right hand side and items we are decluttering on the left hand side. Yes, that's what we'll do. All right, this is a box for the NARS, the multiple in color Altai. This is my cream contour. Um, we're not gonna keep this, we're not gonna keep this. This is from the laundress a sample of their denim wash, which I am very interested in trying, so we are keeping that. This Too Faced Brow Envy. Gosh, I think this must be, oh, maybe it's not that old. Maybe it's like five or six years old. And it has brow wax, two different brow colors, a highlighter, and these little tools here, a spoolie. Um, this brush and also a tweezer. Then there's even this little drawer or pull-up compartment. And it actually has brow pencil along with these uh, brow shapes or shapers you can use to draw on your brows. This is difficult using one hand to organize, Whoop. but I think it's time to declutter this. I might keep the spoolie or the tweezer because that can be used um, at any other time, but uh, I think the products here are quite, quite aged, um, and it's time to try new bra products from uh, other brands. All right, my first Natasha Denona empty package. It's really tough because in my mind, I'm telling myself, one day you're gonna travel with that palette and you wish you would have had its box. Do I, do I really need this? I don't know. What about for stuff that I don't know? We're gonna keep, in the center here and then we'll make a final decision okay center you go this is the beautiful Natasha Denona diamond and blush Daria palette this is a keeper and then we have velour lashes here I have not found an occasion to wear these very voluminous and look at me lashes uh, but I am keeping this one here we have a sugar lip polish uh, from Fresh. This is from some time ago 
And I, I do remember opening this at some point and feeling like, whoops, it's not very, it looks a little bit dried out. So I'm actually going to declutter this. It's an unused face brush from 100% Pure Cosmetics. Uh, this is a keeper. More packaging and within it, we've got a Smashbox photo finish primer uh, that is a sampler size and a mascara. Oh, and this is the Shu Uemura Brow Sword, a refill. So the products in here I am going to keep. So that goes on the right hand side. Then you've got this Bite Beauty Insider. Uh, I think this was maybe either a birthday gift or when you sign up or when you renew your beauty insider or beauty or VIB membership. I feel like this came along with that. So um, I'm going to keep this. I, I think I'll declutter this because I know that light medium 10 is too deep for my skin tone. And then light two here is, you know, it's too, too light for me. Oh, Pat McGrath packaging. This will go in the center. Then we have the Shiseido cotton pads. Uh, this I am keeping. Another Natasha Denona bronze palette packaging box. This goes in the center. And then we've got plastic baggies for good measure. Um, these are good to reuse. I'm gonna put them on the right hand side. Tom Ford palette packaging center. These are scissors for trimming brows. Um, I'm keeping these, these are spares. More lashes. These I have not used before. Again, like my velour lashes, it's um, not every day you can find an occasion to wear them, but I will keep these. More boxes. This is for the gold palette and the mini nude palette box. I would love to try this, which is why I picked it as a sampler. So I'm going to keep this and find a time to try it more box. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the NARS Blush Palette, keeping that in the center. And what else do we have here? Oh, we have some samples from Beauty Counter. Yes, these samples are good for traveling. When you're going on a short trip, you don't need to bring the whole bottle. These are actually great. And when I run out of product, and I'm waiting for the order to come in. I actually dig into these samples, so I'm keeping those. Here is a Rosy Rasa. These are makeup sponges that I got in Japan last year, and they actually increase in size when they're dampened. I did use it once to apply makeup, and I just didn't found them to be that effective, actually. So we might declutter these and putting them on the left-hand side. Okay, so far I have not a lot of items. <gasps> I'm not doing great here. I'm not doing great. Okay. Okay. We need to try a little harder. We need to try a little harder. VIB Rouge. Uh, they included some Marc Jacobs beauty items here. And I don't even remember. Let me see. What is it? Oh, a lipstick. Okay. Well, I'm going to check out what that is. If the lipstick is still good to use. Uh, I think it's been a couple years. Uh, I haven't been a VIB Rouge for at least two years but if this is so good to use i will keep it and then another vib rouge let's see what's here with the vib rouge welcome gift it usually has some kind of sample oh i didn't use this studio access pass so for the two years or maybe three years that i was vib rouge i think i only got my makeup done at the studio because uh with vib rouge and i, I think it's the same now as it was uh, when I was Rouge, you actually could get your makeup done at the studio. It's unlimited. You just schedule, go in, and anytime you'd like, you can have them do your makeup. I think I went in once or twice. I think, yeah, I think I went in twice. I just did not <laughs> take advantage uh, of that perk. And I think it's a great perk because you can try out all kinds of makeup. I don't know where the lipstick for this is. I'm just going to keep it in the center for now. This is the Shantakai Future Skin Foundation. It's too light for my skin tone right now, but I am definitely using this once fall and winter comes around this year. More boxes. Makeup Forever. Uh, this is kind of the customizable palette here. I'm keeping this. 
Oh, this is Japanese oil blotting paper from Shiseido. I love getting this kind of stuff when I go to Japan. Um, it's very reasonably priced. And I can't remember where I got this one from specifically, but you can go to Japanese 100 yen store. It's equivalent to the dollar stores we have here. And there's all kinds of goodies. Um, a lot of tchotchkes, but some stuff is really useful. Makeup sponge from 100% Pure. Uh, I did a comparison video of all the makeup sponges that I have. And I just, you know, I've had this for four years now and have not used it. So I'm gonna declutter this. Oh, we've got an IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Poor Press Powder. I love to try this. We're keeping it. And this YSL Beauty. I feel like this was a deluxe sampler or something. Let's see. Oh, huh. It's a pouch I got from somewhere and I put all my samples in there. Ha ha. Oh, okay, okay. These are Korean brand. Oh, no, Hourglass. I guess it's a mix. Shiseido. Okay, yeah, this is a Korean brand, which I have not used before. Oh, oh, this from Blythe Soothing and Healing Green Tea. It's uh, like a water mask of some sort, and it removes all makeup. Like any traces of makeup, it removes. I remember being very impressed with it uh, when I tried, because I got two of these and I tried one of them. And the reason I didn't go to purchase a bottle of these immediately is that it does leave your skin feeling, um, well, very clean for one, but it leaves my skin feeling a bit parched. And um, on a part of my face where I have a little bit of rosacea, it actually reacted to it. It was a little bit itchy after using it. And I used it twice, like I was able to get two uses from a sample, and both times I felt that way afterwards. So. I don't know, like maybe maybe I'll use this again and see how I feel about it. But it was extremely effective at removing makeup. So it really is quite the cleanser. Okay. So we're going to keep these samples for now. This is a spare brush set that I have. And I do think, and these brushes, I cannot tell you like where they're from. I think these are all synthetic hair, except for this one doesn't belong in the set. I think this is just like a holder I use. Um, I think I might keep this pouch. It's great traveling size, but the brushes in there, I don't, you know, even as a spare, I don't think they'll be that great to use. So we're gonna put this here for now. I'm gonna organize it a bit more. Oh, and more Bite Beauty. So I used to be a huge Bite Beauty collector. Any of the holiday sets, any of the kind of set releases they have, I would just go out and buy them. And I'm not even a huge, huge lipstick girl. I mean, I like lipstick, I like lip glosses and lip related things, but the moment I find something to collect, I want to just get more and more of it with all the releases. And I don't think it's a surprise, but I haven't used, I don't think I've used, finished any of these lip glosses. Oops. Okay, I didn't do a very good job with that. These are fun color. And the whole deconstructed rose. I love that concept. Just really pretty here. I don't have the heart to throw this out yet. <sighs> I might do a video of my old bike collection just so I have that with me for anybody interested in the brand. And after that, I might, you know, after that, it might just be time to part with it because some of these products are just pretty aged and I don't recommend using them. I'm going to set these aside. These samples, um, Retrouve did send me a few samples with my Elixir Luminous Cleansing Elixir. And this is, let's see, this is the, oh, Skin Brilliance Primy Pad. So this is their exfoliator. It, it, it is a pad that has um, their product on it, and you can use it to basically exfoliate your skin uh, in a gentle way. Uh, U Beauty being my primary exfoliator right now, uh, I'm not quite ready to get into these, but I'm definitely saving them. I'd love to try them. This is a box to a sharpener from RMK. Um, 
I've had this for over 10 years. <laughs> uh, yes. More VIB Rouge packaging. These are so cute. They're hair ties. Definitely have use for these. More MT packaging. I think this is good for decluttering. Oh, this gal. This is from a good friend. It was a gift. And it's a highlighter. Beautiful. Just the embossing, the flower. So beautiful. I can't throw this away. I don't know. It's not something I, I use because it, it's been some time, but even just to have it, to look at as part of the collection, uh, I am keeping this one. It does come with a little brush for applying the highlight. Maybe we'll change out this here. I put some paper towels here so that if any of the makeup came out of its packaging or, or something broke, it wouldn't transfer onto the drawer. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but paper towels was easy enough at the time. More Retrouve, some more samples here. And this is the, this is the Nutrient Face Serum. Um, cool, I'd love to try this as well. More boxes, Pamagraph, Lady Stardust. This is a brush that I got for VAB Rouge. Uh, I haven't found a use for it. I mean, I've tried it, but haven't found quite the use for it. Backup Beauty Blender Sponge, keeping this. More samples. I think time to declutter. I haven't used this lippy. Backup Eyeshadow Primer for Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base from NARS, keeping this. And I don't believe I've used the YSL Mascara. This is a sampler that I haven't used yet. Oh, this is my U Beauty. This is... A uh, limited availability or a limited release sampler size. Uh, you still have to pay for this, if I remember, but it's uh, really a great deal. It, it has enough product to use twice a day for probably two weeks, maybe even longer than that. And it's just a great way to sample the product without having to um, pay for full size. And I think I kept this because there was still a little bit left at the time. And I thought it would be my backup if I ran out and I was waiting for the, you know, new order to come in. But I think this is, like, really cute. Anyways, I, I need to declutter this. I can't. What else? More lashes. All the lashes. I don't know what happened to this one. More lashes. Oh, back up to Pat McGrath's uh, liquid liner, which I really enjoy. So this is, I'm keeping it. Uh, beauty counter. I think this is the essential face oils that they have. It's too rich for me. They have released this in new packaging as well, so I might find a new home for this one. Oh, this is the Touche Claw Primer, deluxe size sample. We'll keep this. This is great for travel. Backup of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is the Hourglass Box to the Mechanical Pencil, uh, which uh, I will declutter. More lashes, keeping these. Okay, so this is the Maquillage Stick Concealer packaging that I have and uh, this is well over 10 years old. Uh, I think it's time to declutter. I have here more samples. Oh, that was part of the sample pack we saw earlier. This is Orsay's kind of color. You can order this to try the foundation. I created a whole video where I talked about it. Um, it has a lot of skincare in the foundation. But it just comes with three different shades and you can see which is a better match. Their shades uh, tends toward being uh, warmer in tone with yellow uh, undertones. Right now being a newer company, they just don't have that many shades available. So I couldn't find quite the match for it. Uh, when I did talk to them and asked about when they would be releasing more shades, they let me know around August this year. Another Bite Beauty limited edition set. Um, I'll include it in my Bite Beauty video to come at some point and um, share this with you guys and possibly declutter because I think this one's uh, been sitting around for a while. Hey, let's see what's in here. I poured everything out from the makeup bag and we've got a lot of random things. Um, larger than life long wear eyeliner. Mm, I wonder if this has dried out. 
no it might still be good i think we can keep this um and then i have a lot of lip glosses oh actually this is liquid lipstick from tarte um i do like i do like a matte lip look uh, i just haven't used these for a while they do dry my lips out um and this is a makeup forever lip liner uh in a very versatile nude kind of color suitable for my skin tone I've had this for some years, so I'm ready to declutter it, and I just haven't used it as much as I've wanted to, unfortunately. And then we have a Laura Mercier, I believe this was a sample of a eyeshadow glitter finish. Um, also had this for a long time. I'm ready to, I'm ready to declutter this. Then we have a Mac eyeshadow here. Uh, this is in the color Cork. Uh, this I will keep, actually. I wish I used it more often, but because it kind of sits, well, it was sitting here uh, in a makeup bag, in a drawer. But if this was on my vanity table, I would actually use it more often to add depth. Ah, this one here, this one, a lot of good memories with. This is a, at the time, a limited edition eyeshadow color Perky. I frequently use it on my cheeks uh, in addition to using it as eyeshadow. But I've had this for some time now. I am ready to part with it. This is going to be decluttered. This is an ABH brow gel. And I haven't used it enough. I'd like to give this another try. A lip gloss from Bite. <laughs> uh, I will keep this for the video, but it will eventually be decluttered. Same thing with these lipstick here. Anything you see in this kind of matte um dark gray packaging these are all bite lipsticks this is from ysl this is their deluxe sample of their water stain uh, not quite a color that i wear so i will declutter this this is from nars um scent lip pencil i actually do like nars's lip pencils so i, I would like to use this a few more times so i'm keeping this and then for the Tarte lip paints, I don't know, if you guys are interested in these lip paints, I know Park Ave Princess, they don't, they've discontinued this. I'm not sure about these two here. I'm going to keep them for now, but they are probably due for a declutter next time. If you're interested in seeing some swatches or video on it, let me know. Okay, this here unfortunately is broken, so I will declutter this. So this is the piles. The center pile are things that I am keeping to make a video in the near future and then decluttering um, because they've just sat around for a long time. The products are not really things that I should use. Um, they're past their expiration date. And um, with some of these empty boxes here, I may or may not decide to keep them. We have the decluttered pile here. Eh, not bad. I could do better especially when I'm looking at the key pile <laughs> there's a lot on the key pile we don't need to keep that much but it will look better once they're organized in the drawer oh and these lip paints yes please let me know if you're interested in a video um, because I just haven't reached for them much I'm thinking they're ready for decluttered next round I'm saving the last half of this video and making it into a part two because it is pretty long as is right now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on my journey to organize. Take care. See you guys soon. Bye.